Cast your mind back five years to a simpler time. The year was 2019 and just 22 all-electric vehicles were available for sale in Australia. Flash forward to August 2024 and that number will have more than doubled to over 50 models, some of them even priced below the all-important $40,000 mark. It's a great time to be alive for our Drive Car of the Year judges who've previously struggled to fill just one category of electric cars, let alone several. So ladies and gentlemen, let's meet our electric category winners for the 2024 Drive Car of the Year Awards. Every year, Drive's Car of the Year Awards seek to find the best new vehicles for Australian buyers, testing and comparing models to find the cars that move the game forward for the largest proportion of Aussie shoppers. In this video, we will introduce you to our electric winners for 2024 and tell you a bit more about why they won their individual categories. Claiming our electric categories for 2024 are our best electric vehicle under $50,000, the MG4 Essence 64, which proves you can have a capable EV on a budget. Then there's our best urban electric vehicle under $100,000, the Tesla Model 3 Long Range, which continues to be the benchmark for electric cars everywhere. Our best luxury electric vehicle under $150,000 is the BMW iX xDrive 40 Sport, which shows what's possible when comfort and capability coexist without compromise. And our best family electric vehicle under $100,000 is the Kia EV9 Air, a game changer for family buyers. A new category for Drive Car of the Year 2024 is the best electric urban vehicle under $100,000. And well, Suze, I think the winner should be no stranger to anyone who's shopping for electric vehicles because I think we all know that badge. That's right, Wadi. So the Tesla Model 3 won this category. It was already the benchmark for electric cars, but a substantial update at the start of this year has meant that a good product has become even better. So our pick in this range is the long range variant, which starts just over $70,000. For your spend, you actually get a really impressive amount of range. So some of the, the biggest range in mm. basically the entire electric vehicle industry, just over 600 kilometers. So no range anxiety issues there. It's a really effective efficient electric car as well so you'll be visiting the supercharger even less than you were before plus updates to the suspension have meant it's a really comfortable supple ride and the amount of tech inside this car is seriously impressive and not for uh, any small point the overall uh, design of the car has actually been improved and changed for 2024 which means that you'll be able to spot the updated model 3 on the road when you see them throughout the year but to find out more let's take a look inside Tesla really is the quintessential electric vehicle. You look at the sales, you see them everywhere on the road. These are the cars that people are choosing to, well, I guess get their first full taste of an EV. And I tell you what, a Tesla is a full taste experience. You are all in, nothing but, well, Tesla. As an EV, the new Model 3 is still one of the most efficient electric vehicles you can buy. You've got incredible range on this car, the Model 3 long range but it's all the other elements to what Tesla has done with the car to make it like nothing else available that does get a lot of buyers talking. For example, we can, well, we can turn our fireplace on and sort of sit back. Now, what's interesting, when you do that, it actually turns the air conditioner off and pumps heat in, so you are getting heat from the fire. If you tap it, you get some mood music but we'll turn that off now. It's just an element that makes this thing perhaps a little bit silly, a little bit more irreverent, and a, quite a darn sight more appealing for a lot of buyers. But once you go past the silly things, there's actually some real substance to the new Model 3. You've got a far better built car that now rides with a, a lot more compliance, even on Australian roads. Like I said, you've got a very impressive range, but you've also got Tesla's enormous and robust charging network that's available to you as a Tesla owner. So in terms of making a choice to go electric and then making a choice to go electric in a Tesla, you are opening up the full world of EV driving with the efficient driveline, with lots of fun toys, and with a charging network that's there to support you from here on out. It's a pretty impressive place to start if an EV is on your shopping list. Tesla, for a number of good reasons, is still a very polarizing brand in our market, and yet its strong points as an electric vehicle are beyond argument. 
really, really high quality battery packs and efficient usage of the power available means that these are incredibly practical electric vehicles and they do exactly what we would expect an electric vehicle to do without compromise. So if you are looking at an electric vehicle at this end of the market, the Tesla Model 3 is absolutely one that you have to consider. Finally, electric car buyers on a budget have options. So many, in fact, that we were able to fill an entire category. And the winner of that category, best electric car under $50,000, is right here with us now, the MG4. Now, Wardy, all importantly, three variants slot in under the $50,000 mark in the MG4 range, which is the best way to spend your money? Well, this car, Suze, this is the 64 Essence. So it's mid-spec. You've got the 64 kilowatt hour battery, which gives it over 400 kilometers worth of range. And the Essence gives it a fair amount of kit. You've got uh, faux leather seats. There's a body kit. There's plenty of technology inside, which makes this a very well featured, very accessible first electric car for many buyers. And it's a great way for people who are considering the move to electric to stick their toe in the water because look at it it is a fully functional familiar sized hatchback and it's the uh, the type of car that will fit into many many australian garages without a second thought absolutely it will fit into car parks too which is always an added bonus let's find out why the judges loved this car in more detail while it doesn't look that fast on paper the mg4 feels positively zippy on the road with light steering that's perfectly suited to urban driving out on the freeway, it's a hoot, thanks to a low centre of gravity, punchy acceleration and keen steering. Perhaps the most appealing thing about the MG4 is that, well, when you look around the cabin, it looks like an ordinary little hatchback. And this is because it kind of is. You don't need to learn something uh, from the ground up to get into the MG4. So if this is going to be your first step into an electric car, you can be familiar and out on the road in no time. There are some good benefits about this car being designed from the ground up as an EV. You've got terrific storage around the cabin, so there's no transmission tunnel running through. And that also translates to decent rear passenger room and a good boot. In terms of equipment, you kind of aren't wanting for nothing. It's got a full list of safety and driver assistance technology on board, but in terms of being an EV, and I guess the key questions that people do ask, range and charging. And with over 400 kilometers range that is real world uh, achievable in the MG4, plus fast charging. It means that by the time you get to the shops, you might find a 50 kilowatt charger there, you finish the groceries, cars back up to, uh, to full charge, and you're ready to go for tomorrow at a fraction of the cost of running a petrol car. The MG4 does bring the world of electrification to a whole new market. So if this is suiting as perhaps an urban runabout or maybe the family's second car, it's a great way to tip your dough in the water. Now it's all good and well to buy an electric car with heaps of range, but that range won't be much good to you if you're stuck sitting in a charger all day waiting for the battery to get topped up. So we crunched the numbers to find out how long all of these cars take to charge from 10 to 80% battery capacity, charging at their peak rate. And the good news is it's very minimal downtime. Imposing, eye-catching and unapologetically luxurious, BMW's large iX electric SUV won our best luxury electric car under $150,000 category for 2024 because judges felt it epitomized what buyers are looking for from the future of electrification. Now, Wardy, aside from the obvious fantastic styling, why do we love this vehicle? Yeah, look, it's, it's one of those things. When you are looking for a luxury electric car, you want the performance, you want the smoothness, you want all of the, uh, the the mod cons that go with it, but you also want to make a statement. And I think the iX does all of that in spades. Now, this is the uh, xDrive 40 Sport. You can spend a lot more than this car. You can go up in the range, but I'm saying you don't need to. From the outside to the inside, this car has got something special going on everywhere you look. It is an occasion every occasion. And I think the idea that buyers who want the latest in technology, the latest in electric drive lines, and the latest in styling, the iX is a formidable vehicle. And don't let the imposing size fool you. It can do the zero to 100 kilometer hour sprint in just 6.1 seconds, which I think is pretty impressive. Now, enough about the outside because that interior is pretty luxe and I'd like to get in there and check it out. 
Evidently, I am sitting in the upper end of the electrification spectrum, the BMW iX. The car we've chosen as the pick of the range is this one, the X-Drive 40 Sport, and that's because we believe it offers the most bang for your buck. It is actually one of the more affordable options in a range that can hit up over $200,000. So in this grade, you get all kinds of really beautiful creature comforts that really make you feel like you've spent your money well, which is a really important feeling in the luxury space. So that includes things like these gorgeous Nappa leather seats. They offer a massage function and heating as well. You get a premium Hardman card and sound system. You get crystal accents as well and the rose gold throughout the cabin. Obviously, BMW is known for its screens and infotainment, and this car is no exception with this sweeping singular panel, which offers smartphone connectivity, a clever personal assistant as well. We're used to seeing electric cars are on the side of minimalism. This kind of goes for all out maximalism, but you don't sacrifice that space and practicality in the cabin. So no transmission tunnel means heaps of storage and space down here, a nice airy feel as well. And of course, on the road, this car is fantastic to drive, smooth, comfortable, but with punchy performance. On the road, the BMW iX boasts Rolls-Royce level suspension and refinement and delivers the sheer driving pleasure expected when purchasing a BMW, while impressively disguising its size around town. Well, the winner of the Drive Car of the Year Best Electric Family Vehicle priced under $100,000 is a family car front and centre, the Kia EV9. Now, this is a seven-seat, full electric, all singing, all dancing family SUV. And Suze, it's the first time we've seen this level of practicality at this part of the market with a full electric drivetrain. That's right, Woody. I don't like to throw the term game changing around, but I do feel like this car warrants it. Now, only one variant slots in under the $100,000 mark, but that's okay, because it's the only variant you need. It's a rear wheel drive air, and it has everything. Dual zone climate control, heated and ventilated seats, massive screen, fantastic sound system. And as Wardy said before, this is a family car first and foremost. Cavernous boot, you've got four isofix points, five top tethers, so theoretically, you can fit five child seats at the one time in this car. Not to mention, it's an electric car, so it's got vehicle to load capabilities. You can go camping and power your hairdryer if you'd like to. And of course, Kia's unlimited kilometer seven year warranty really sweetens the deal. And I think servicing for this car costs as little as $700 over the first three years. So it's a real no brainer for families looking to make the switch to electric cars. It kind of does it all, Sue. So to find out more about the Kia EV9, let's take a look inside. Now you'll hear us talk frequently about the benefits of an electric vehicle that is a bespoke platform. What we mean by that is an EV that isn't based on a conventional vehicle. And the EV9 is a bespoke platform and it's a very, very good one. Now what that does is simple things like gives you this extra storage here because of course you don't have a transmission tunnel. But there's so many other things to like about the way a manufacturer can integrate its tech into a platform that is built specifically for that purpose. This EV9 features a lot of stuff that we've come to expect from Kia in terms of the controls and the switch gear, the screens, the layout. It's all a little bit familiar, even though it's very modern. But also, this is built to a very high level and the integration of the tech is particularly easy to use. That's an important one for any buyer, regardless of your purpose for this vehicle. So I think that's noteworthy. The other point that's worth making is there's a lot of room in this too. This is a proper three row SUV. You really feel that from inside the cabin. Second row occupants, you get plenty of comfort and access to tech while you're out on the road. Judges said the EV9 was composed and impressively quick to get moving for a car of its size, with the instant torque from the electric motors adding a bit of excitement. We hope we've given you enough information to help you buy the right electric car for you. So if you're as charged up as we are and want to get to know our electrifying winners in more detail, we've got all the numbers, stats, prices, range figures, everything you need to know at drive.com.au.